Good day, farmers. Uh, I was hunting around uh, the other day for a plow different than the one I had. Uh, I was using here, just let me bring it up here. I was using the uh, Agrisim 4 meter, 3 point hitch, deep soil, or whatever you want to call it, deep soiler. At four meters width, you know, you'd think that's pretty large, but not really, uh, especially in my potato field. I think that's 57 down by the uh, train silos. Uh, took quite a long time to plow that field. So I was looking for, like, I like the square plow like that. Uh, I don't want something I have to tow behind. These are, I don't know, never my thing. I, I never liked this vertical uh, plow that you pulled behind you is hard to uh, get the edges squared on your fields especially if you were using create field anyways I've always preferred the uh, the square plow like this uh, even the the three-point hitch over a trailer drawn uh, version and I came across this case uh, it's a mod uh, the Colo till 2500 and and that's up to, I believe this one is 12 meters, or sorry, sorry, eight and a half. So definitely more than 100% bigger than this one. And it offers the two versions of it. You can get it three point hitched, or you can have the trailered version of it. As I say, I preferred this version, uh, just better control over it. Um, so yeah. That's what we're going to do, and I'm going to put it in action for you. Now, of course, I did mod it slightly. I think out of the out of the gate, uh, it'll do, uh, I think it's 10 kilometers an hour work speed. Well, of course, I had to adjust that. And uh, I don't want to go too crazy, but I find around 13, 14, 15 is very realistic uh, and significantly faster uh, uh, than 10. So, let's jump in, and I'll show you what I else I modded, which is the uh, unfold. Uh, I changed that scale factor from 1 to, I think it was 1.6. So, let's jump in here. We got a bright, sunny day here. And we'll just show you how quickly I've got it to open up. And that's nice. It's not just slapping it around, but it definitely gets on with opening and closing it. Okay, so I actually bought this field. It had potatoes in it. Uh, I bought it for the express purposes of demoing it uh, at work. And uh, I don't really want potatoes up here. I've got a great big potato field. And like I say, down in 57 there, I'm going to keep that the dedicated potato field that's where I keep the potato harvester and the planter and everything so I'm not moving that all over the map I'll just leave it down there and let it do its thing all right well uh we'll make sure we got our lane guidance set we'll lower whoops I've got the wrong for some reason it changed but anyways there we go we'll lower it in Away we go. Just wide enough uh, to, to really uh, speed up the plowing of some of these larger fields that I'm going to end up with. But not so big as to be ridiculous on the smaller fields that I have. I, I've seen the John Deere uh, 24 something, I forget the number of it, but it's 24 meters wide and it goes at like 24 kilometers an hour um, now granted any plow can do that if you mod it but it was just overkill for the smaller fields whereas this still reasonable but makes a big difference on the bigger fields And I think pretty realistic too. Uh, 
I've never seen a plow on the farm much bigger than that. Matter of fact, I think that's could be wrong, but I believe that's about the biggest plow you'll ever see on a on a field and being towed behind a monster tractor too because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, hold them back with all those tills in the ground like that. A little early on the, coming out of that lane. Still get a nice square finish there. I don't think we're going to have to start that lane over again. I was sure I engaged the auto steer on that, but I don't think I did. Let's try that again. Yeah, no, I did not. <laughs> okay, Lower it. let's start that lane again. Like I say, I don't edit, so you get to see all my mistakes. I don't try and hide them. So hopefully everybody's enjoying uh, what I'm posting here. Pleasantly surprised, let's put it that way, as to how many views I'm getting. I'm sure there's a lot, well, I'm more than sure. I know there's lots of uh, fellas that are getting hundreds, certainly tens of thousands of views on their stuff. And you know what, they do it for a living and then, you know, they're doing all this uh, high-end editing and polishing and stuff like that. Like I say, I don't do that. I have no intention of doing that. It's keep it raw and simple. I do it for the fun of it. That's, that's the best way of putting it. So when we finish this field, uh, I did set up another field across the way there just to continue using this thing. It's actually a lot of fun to pull this thing around. It does a nice job. I was messing with the uh, time of day earlier. Also getting a lot of clouds in here. When I stop this next row, I'm going to adjust the time of day and weather. Just because I feel like if it's sunnier, the picture pops more on the screen. Let's, let's take a look at that. Yeah, this should be about noon and this should be variation one look at that <laughs> I can control the weather <laughs> anyway let's bring it around typically I would have done that before I started the episode but like I say uh I have no intention of editing. As a matter of fact, this is the second time I've had to record an episode because things went terribly awry towards the end and I thought I would try to use the YouTube edit feature uh, to trim. Well, that's a big mistake because I gave it a 4K HDR uh, upload and by the time I had finished just trimming all I do was try to trim the last 30 seconds or 40 seconds off that episode and uh, all it gave me back was just a standard definition 1080p 
upload and I'm like well that's not what my channel is about so here we are redoing it another challenging thing to have to redo an episode like this uh, again centered on this plow is uh, what would be natural talking points that come naturally when you have to do it again it's like well I've already said that and a lot of things that would have come to mind just don't so if my talking points seem a little duller this time around it's that's why Okay, so let's pick this up and I'll fold it, which I don't usually do. Just simply because uh, it takes too long. We'll go over this bridge here. But I don't typically fold my implements. I just, because it's all my field and if I'm not going to interfere with the field state, I'll just leave it down or I'm surrounded by somebody else's field, in which case it doesn't actually bother their field. But I set this field up over here. Having basically plowed everything already, so I had to set this field up to show uh, something, something to happen here with this thing. We'll just set this up. Oh, we're a little bit too far over. Just adjust that. And just give ourselves a bit of a headland up here. Now, typically, if you've seen uh, previous uh, episodes, I would consider this field and the field up ahead there as one. And just drive right across this access road. Some people would say, well, why don't you just plow that access road out of there with create fields and make one big field? I like the visual of how it looks this way. If I just wanted big fields, I would be on a different map, but I, I can treat it as one field without actually having to make it look like one. How's that? Adds to the ambience of the map. How's that? <laughs> like I say, this, this, this plow is not so big as to, you know, just knock a field out, you know, or one pass and it's done. <laughs> you know, like some of the smaller fields over by the farmhouse itself, you know, like that John Deere that I was talking about earlier, that 20, that 24 something it's called, just way too big, you know. I've never heard of a 24 meter plow either. How about that? Um, not that that's the end all, but this I find is uh, quite pleasant to use and just the right size for my farm. I think even if you, if you, uh, whoops, if you, um, forget what I'm doing here talking on the phone again here I go again um, 
if you look at like a year or two ago, uh, I was pumping out a bunch of 1440p type episodes uh, based on the equipment I had and availability. And uh, those, I think that it was on Glen Isla, kind of a uh, indie map, as I call it, indie map. <laughs> Very, it wasn't a great big production team or anything like that. Oh, I'm doing it again. Come back here. Anyways, another small map, and it had a great feel to it, and you didn't have to have overly large equipment. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's turn those on. I'm not lifting it this time. Ah, bring it around. If somebody knows how you can adjust your mirrors, there's a mod for that. Leave me a comment down below. Be very interested in that. There's just that little strip left on the edge, huh? Well, I, I'm actually trying to keep the length of the episodes down a little bit I find that if you get beyond you know 18 20 minutes people have a short attention span and actually I think it affects the algorithm of the video if people don't finish watching it so I'm gonna try and keep them a little shorter having said that That's the name of this thing again. This is the Case Ecolo Till 2500. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you can actually get it off the Farming Sim Mod uh, page. Um, so, if you watch this far, you can pick it out of the description link below. And uh, that'll be it. Thanks for riding along. We'll catch you again on the next one.